Hey guys, it's Leaf and welcome back to another one of our little Design a DLC videos. So yes, it's always great to have you guys here, especially for this one. We haven't been doing it for a little while and I hope you guys forgive me on that. I just haven't really felt the drive to make one recently. But we are finally back, we are ripe and fresh with ideas, and we're gonna jump in with some biome packs. Now, this kind of came to me when I was kind of looking at like the previous kind of like roster of animals of like the current release DLCs and one of the things that came up was the aquatic pack that one truly did stand out so as you guys might know it came with four count them five animals I guess you could count the exhibit animal but essentially those animals were from all around the world two of them being from South America the giant otter as well as the Cuvier Swarf came in. And that kind of made me think a little bit, you know? It gave me a little bit of an idea. What if we get more packs like that in the future? So that's exactly what we're gonna go into today with the Desert Pack. So first and foremost, I always love to do the Animal Packs and the Scenery Packs, so do expect that, and we're just gonna jump right into it right now. Now the first animal that I have included in the Animal Pack is the Dromedary Camel. Obviously, I feel like this one is a must have uh not really sure why we don't have one just yet because they are quite iconic animals granted the bactrian camel is a pretty neat animal but still the dromedary is very iconic in itself they're very 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 common in zoos they're beautiful they're african and you know what they're an essential clone animal that i feel like frontier would be able to pull off pretty well Moving on from that, we have the African Spurred Tortoise. Now these guys would be our third tortoise in the game if this does ever happen. And I would love to see that because, you know, tortoises, they're pretty neat creatures. You know, you can find them in pretty much any single zoo in the world. And they're just relatively interesting animals. And I have no idea why Frontier is holding out on giving us such wonderful, like, tortoises and stuff like that but these guys would be the third largest tortoise in the world and the third largest tortoise in the game it feels right to just have you know the aldabra the galapagos as well as the african spurred all together i believe they're also known as a sulcata tortoise so that'd be really awesome to have nonetheless now moving on from that we also have the asiatic lion now these guys not necessarily desert it's more so scrubland but I did want some representation from India, as well as like the rest of Southern Asia as well. These guys are beautiful. They'd be our second species of lion in the game, and I feel like that's a little weird, but these guys are very different from your typical African lion. They have a lot more ratted, more mangled fur, I guess. They look a lot skinnier. They look a lot sweatier, I guess you could kind of say. And I don't know, it's just a very interesting species. You don't necessarily think of lions being in India, but it's very cool nonetheless. And they have a very, very interesting backstory behind them. They were recently, like, not recently, but they were almost hunted all the way out. They would have stretched as far as, like, Saudi Arabia and stuff. But now they're kind of regulated to smaller parts of India, as well as Pakistan, I believe. So it'd be really awesome to get that kind of representation in the game. Now moving on from there, we're going to take a little trip down under. So this one would be our Australian representation. Uh, technically the first out of two, but exhibit animals, yeah, you know how we feel about those, the Parenti. Now the Parenti is a kind of like, it's kind of like the Nile Monitor, except, you know, it lives in the desert, so it's not really on the Nile, but these guys are really cool. They have such beautiful coloration. They're like this beautiful black and yellow, and I feel like that kind of color combination in animals, we don't really see too often so getting something like that in the game would be absolutely amazing and it'd probably make my buddy treat go really happy or really angry <laughs> but moving on from that we are going to take a little trip to south america with the greater Rhea. now i think that it is absolutely empirical that we get even more ratites in the game. Ratites are probably some of my favorite birds. I love them so much. And the Greater Rhea is no exception. These guys are absolutely beautiful. They have this beautiful slate gray coloration to them. And I think that's absolutely neat. So having a lot of more ratite representation on there. It'd be absolutely amazing to see. Plus, South America is still pretty lacking for animals. And I feel like getting even more of them down there would be absolutely absolutely amazing especially ratites you know I, I can't I can't I can't help myself guys you know I just love the ratites so moving on from that we're gonna bounce back to Asia but more so greater Asia 
we have the Asian wild ass. So these guys are beautiful. They look like, I don't know, they look like donkeys that have been out in the wild for quite some time. And that's quite literally what donkeys are. So I really do love these guys. They are beautiful. They have this beautiful kind of like slate brown texture, uh, coloration more so. And I don't know, it's just really cool to see a lot more equines in the game. We haven't really had a new equine since the base game. In fact, the zebra is probably our only equine. So getting a lot more equine representation on there is absolutely empirical as well. I would love to see any kind of wild ass on there. Somali wild ass is probably on the top of my list, but I did want to space this list out across all the rest of the continents. And granted, I could have done Antarctica on here since, you know, it's a desert, but I don't know. Yeah, we're moving on. Bobcat. Okay. North American representation. These guys are very iconic. They're very much like the lynx at this point and they're absolutely adorable. So these guys will frick you up. They're found all across the North America continent, but they are pretty common in desert environments. So it'd be really cool to see a lot more representation of smaller wildlife down there. And of course the exhibit animal is the Australian thorny devil, just a pretty interesting reptile nonetheless. It's very pointy, very jagged, and I feel like this would be an amazing animal to see done by Frontier. I don't know, they just seem pretty cool and really cool coloration. You see, with this entire list, I really wanted to go into kind of like the colors of the desert towards the latter end because, you know, the Parenti, the Rhea, the Asian wild ass, they're all beautifully colored. I can't really speak so much for the camel and the tortoise, but still, nonetheless, it'd be really cool to get like that burst of color in the desert. And of course, we are going to be moving on to the scenery pack. Now, it was really hard to choose four animals for this because the desert is such an underrepresented kind of like biome in the game. So kind of choosing these down, it was extremely difficult. So we're just gonna start off with the bighorn sheep as our North American representative. representative. And I feel like it'd be kind of like, you know, pretty on par. I kind of like bighorn sheep. They're pretty beautiful animals. And, you know, they could easily make it off of the doll sheep. It's essentially kind of the same thing. So I know a lot of people would be kind of meat, mad at that. Mead. Wow. Wow. Um, a little too early for a drink right there. <laughs> but no, I feel like a lot of people might kind of be peeved off at that. But the Ovis genus is severely underrepresented in Planet Zoo. And you see a lot of these guys in zoos nowadays. I feel like getting these guys in the game would be absolutely amazing to have. Now moving on from there, we have the dromedary camel once again. I'm not going to go too into details of why I think these guys would be perfect, but they simply are, and you guys just got to take my word for that. I know every single one of you guys were pissed off when we didn't get the dromedary in the Africa pack. I still have no idea why we haven't, but you know what? It's totally fine. I'm not too upset about that. Who's crying? I'm not crying. So moving on from there, we also have the South American Gray Fox. Now, it was kind of hard to kind of differentiate South America as opposed to, what is it, the Rhea? Um, it was just kind of difficult to pick a new creature out of there, but I feel like the South American Gray Fox it is a beautiful, beautiful animal. It has all the color that you're looking for in like a desert animal. And I don't know, it's just a very, very interesting choice right there. And having like more smaller carnivores, it's great. Like, I love seeing that because most of the carnivores we have in the game are huge. <clears throat> so that's something that I would love to see right there. And of course, I wanted to throw in the Asiatic lion as well. I feel like that'd be a wonderful headliner for the pack, especially seeing how well Frontier could manage to make that. I feel like Frontier has come a very, very, very long way in how they make their animals cough Malayan tapir, maybe not so much cough. But I don't know, I feel like they could really do the Asiatic lion justice. And of course, the de uh, exhibit animal. Wow, sorry. Um, is the desert rain frog. Now you guys may know these guys, they're the cute little frogs, and I feel like they would do such an amazing job on capturing the cuteness of this animal. I feel like that'd be really amazing to see Frontier accomplish, and you know, I, I know I kind of rag on exhibit animals a little too much, but these guys would be absolutely adorable to have. I feel like we're missing a lot of the cuteness factor in exhibit animals. We often get like the snakes and creepy crawlies and stuff like that. So having a little cute one, would actually go a long way. 
and moving on from there, we have our honorable mentions. I want to throw out the Arabian Oryx in here just because it's one of my personal favorite kind of like antelope species. They're so freaking beautiful. I love their coat. You guys already saw my speed build for Kalahari Zoo with them. If you haven't, go check it out, please. And guys, please watch Kalahari Zoo. But anyways, these guys are so beautiful. And I feel like having a lot more Arab representation would be, it would go a mile, really. And of course, I also wanted to mention the black back jackal. These guys are beautiful and they really do go in line with like the whole coloration thing that I was talking about before. I feel like that'd be really, really key to have. So of course, moving on from there, we have to talk about the new scenery and for the new scenery for desert pack, I would love to see first and foremost, new rocks, new foliage, new flowers, and new decorations. Okay. Now, I feel like the desert is an extremely underrepresented part of the game, and I feel like having a lot more flowers and plants, and maybe even like some farm things too, maybe even we could get like big aloe farms or something like that, or just generally larger cacti and stuff, and smaller cacti too. I would love to see a lot more of that and rocks. Who doesn't want more rocks? You guys are probably screaming at Nick right now to give him more rocks because the Serengeti rocks are some of the most useful things in the game right now. And I would just love to see a lot more official rocks implemented in the game. And of course, moving on, the new feature I would kind of implement in here, this is just me personally, I would love to see like a photo op stand for guests to actually use. Now you guys know me, I love like my guest representation and stuff like that and having like a photo op area inside your zoo is great because it can work one of two ways. You could have it in front of like a habitat, in front of like a nice big like, you know, it's either right in front of the lions or it's probably right in front of like this beautiful big canyon or something and you can have like a keeper take your picture or something. I feel like that'd be really, really awesome to have. And moving on from that, there's also the idea of kind of incorporating your own canvases in there, kind of incorporating your own designs that guests can take pictures in front of. I know a lot of zoos have been opting for like that green screen, take a picture in front of it and they Photoshop like, you know, all the elephants and stuff in front of that. And then when you're on your way out of the zoo, you can pick that up. I feel like that'd be really amazing to have as well. And just photo booths. I feel like photo booths would be a really awesome thing to incorporate. I don't know, just like a lot more guest activities would be really fun for this pack. But definitely do let me know what you guys would have picked for this pack. Uh, personally, I'm very, I'm very happy with these choices. If Frontier ever does implement any of these, that'd be really, really awesome to have. But of course, I'm so interested in what you guys have. Is there an animal that I missed? Definitely do let me know in the comments below. And I'll tell you what, be sure to like the video, be sure to comment, and I'm be sure to subscribe because these are coming back in full force next week. I'm not sure what we're going to tackle, but we're going to tackle something fun. So take care, guys, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.